Hi, it's Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky. I just came back from a civil disobedience demonstration. In other words, I just came back from being arrested. Um, and it was about abortion. Uh, we went in front of the Supreme Court, probably some hundred, I don't know how many at the end there were, um, but at least uh, two dozen of us members of Congress to make a strong statement. And the statement that we were chanting was, we will not go back. We will not go back. And uh, I was there for my granddaughters. I mean, really? Do you think that they should be deprived of rights that I've had? I've been there before Roe, um, fighting to make, and seeing women who were so desperate. I was there after Roe, trying to prevent um, states from making it harder for women even to access abortions. And now that Roe in so many places has absolutely been obliterated. I also was at a hearing this morning um, about uh, over the oversight committee and the president of the American Medical Association was there talking about the chaos for doctors right now um, who don't know. Can you really, uh, how, you know, how much blood um, has to flow before you can actually try and save somebody's life, you know? Um, and, you know, these are the kinds of things that lawyers get into now, too. You know, oh, telling people in, um, in um, the emergency room, be careful. Um, it, it's, it is so chaotic, frightening, wrong out there that I was really proud to join in the civil disobedience effort to make the case that we are not gonna stop fighting. We literally are not gonna go back. So this is an issue that needs to be on the ballot in November and when we win in the Senate and in the House, which this, this week, of course, passed uh, ratifying Roe v. Wade, we can change this and we will not go back.